Hello everyone and welcome to a new vlog. I This outfit will be later on in this vlog. I'm just starting this one because I decided to split my vlog up into two. So it'll be my Savannah vlog is the last vlog where me and Nico went and were hanging out in Savannah. And then this one will be this upcoming week. It'll be a little bit more reading. But yeah, anyways, new vlog. I hope you guys all enjoy. Good morning, it's Sunday. Oh, I'm in the sun. So we're going to go shopping. We have to go to, we're gonna go to Starbucks. We're gonna go to Walmart. We're gonna go to Michael's. That's what's happening. It's very like nice this morning, it's 69 degrees. Yes. Beautiful. So I went sweater, she went leggings. <laughs> Together we make a winter person. <laughs> but anyways, we're going shopping. I'm trying to make this vlog make sense. I was editing it last night, it makes no sense. So here's my attempt. Doggo is barking. We got Starbucks. Woo. Already got a ring. Got a ring. We'll come back. We need to do it. Okay, we need a cart. Cart, cart, cart. I'm gonna get some of these. Yeah, it's 50% off too. I'm thinking fall garland rather than Halloween garland. We are going a little overboard. Just a carton of flowers. A carton? A cart? Just a cart of flowers. <laughs> Nothing else to see here. Also, Christmas is already out and I'm pissed about it. There's always like a small purchase section in every store we've been in today. And then yeah. like in there two weeks ago. I love Christmas and um, like Halloween equally and I'm already mad that it's like they're putting out Christmas stuff. It's so expensive. <laughs> yeah, see, go Halloween shopping like two weeks or like a week into the month of October and everything is super, super cheap. Okay, we got way too much stuff ahead. Michaels, but it's fine. I'll do a um, little like tour or not a tour a haul. I got some stuff back there too. Got a TBR cart that we got put together. Honestly, I keep saying this is the first time I've ever had a house to decorate and it's really really exciting. I feel like anyone who like has gone from apartment to apartment or like not lived in your own space so you didn't de decorate um, knows the feeling of you finally have your own space to actually fully decorate and money to decorate it. Oh, the best feeling ever. So I don't really mind spending a bunch of money right now because then I just won't have to next year. So uh, yeah, we'll definitely do a haul when we get home <laughs> um, and definitely have some clips of us decorating. So we're going to remember to do that. This we're going to remember <laughs> to do it. So I'm really excited. So now we're heading home. Hello, we are back. I changed my shirt because I was so hot, but we're going to do a haul. <laughs> everything we bought. Not everything, but like the exciting stuff. So firstly... This is something I'm not gonna hold up. But we got this uh, chair. It's one of those like pop-up, foldable, like circular type of chairs. Um, we got one that it's like a couch. But yeah, basically we needed another like chair for this house, so we got that. And then we bought so much uh, fall decor. Many things. <laughs> so many. So let's just start with where do we buy this? Walmart. Yeah. This is skull tumblers from Walmart. Um, yeah, we got two of these. I only brought one up to show you guys, but this is oh, so cute. Yeah, I did. So I got bowls from Walmart. Also, we actually genuinely constantly need more bowls. So these were we super do. cute. And they are dishwasher safe. Um, okay, let's do these ones because you can see these in the background. So, okay, these are from Michael's. We bought, it's app, spice apple cider recipe and then pumpkin spice latte. Mm -hmm. I just think these are gonna look so cute in the kitchen. I got a K and an N for Kate and Nico. There wasn't any H there was not or I would have actually gotten one for <laughs> Haley too. But we're gonna put these in our room because our room is so <laughs> undecorated. Everything in this house is in this room. <laughs> Every, this room is just our like it's our favorite room. It has all of the sun. It has all the books. So we just put everything in here. Yeah, these are gonna go in me and Nico's room to actually give it some sort of color. Again, this I wanna. Is my favorite. Yeah, this is so cool. <laughs> I love little chapel horrors. <laughs> so we got this. Ah, this this is gonna be a year round thing. It's so cute. And yeah, I felt like this would be a good like crap table um, yeah. decoration. So. Yes, yeah, so we got a couple of little jars to put, uh, we've got fake sunflowers somewhere, <laughs> wherever those are. So we got this glass jar with a little candle. I just thought this was really, really cute. This one might, like, go outside? Yeah. These um, yes. Fake 
sunflowers just because I'm really upset because I really want to go to a sunflower field. I've never gone to a sunflower field and there's just none around here that I can find. If you're in Georgia and you know of a sunflower field that's like northern G Georgia, please let us know because we can't find one. And then also this jar. And I like these. I've always like meant to get some like cute jars because um, even like, again, these are kind of things that aren't necessarily only fall. Like I can have this year round. Um, to bring some color in. Yeah, so we'll I'll also probably cut them a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, these can be like decorations all year round. So that's what I was kind of going for. I was going for more like autumn slash like all the time decorations. Um, just because then I obviously get my money's worth a little more. Also, just to tell you, all of these sales, everything was 60% off. Yep. And then like certain things, like these were originally like 20 bucks and they were on sale for $5. Yep. So like everything was at least 60% off um, and I'm pretty sure it goes through um, October 16th. So go to Michael's and yeah, these are just the cheap kind of uh, colorful fall leaf garlands. Also got some like nice garlands. So this favorite. one's so cool. It's like- I like the braided. Yeah, I do too. So yeah, we gotta find where we gotta put all of these. And then we got just a leaf a one. one. The really thick leaves. And then we got a this, this one's like hard to manipulate. I yeah. will give it that. And then yeah, sunflower. Sunflower. Yeah. Already have debris. Yeah, yep, I know. Debris. I saw. <laughs> we need to like put these places. Oh, oh, this was so cute. This is a little pumpkin with like a littler pumpkin and sunflowers. I'm a sucker for sunflowers, okay? Listen, some people are like ghosty, uh, black cat kind of people. Some people are pumpkin people. I'm a sunflower bitch, okay? <laughs> like like uh, clover bitches, but sunflower <laughs> bitches. Also, I bought this for Nico because I thought it was hilarious. Let the stuffing begin. Okay. <laughs> That's about this, we just thought that this was really cute. It says, give thanks, and it's a little fox. I just thought it was really cute. This is Yes, this is gonna be- this is my one garishly Halloween thing. <laughs> I got this on my clothes. It was five dollars as my wreath. I've been wanting like a really fun Halloween wreath and I'm- I'm so picky about my wreaths and I found this and it was five bucks. So... Very nice. Very nice. And then yeah, we also bought another TBR cart. Well, sorry, the other T the other TBR cart. It's a craft cart, guys. Um, is our tea and coffee. So I bought this one because I we have a whole plan. My TBR books, which are like right here, it takes up about two and a half, three shelves. We're going to take these those off, put them in here, put them in my room, put something in my room, <laughs> and then we're gonna move stuff around so we have more space for K-pop albums. So yeah. We're gonna build that at some point this weekend. But anyways, I think that's it. Yeah. I'm so excited. We're just gonna- It I'm looks like less stuff. It does, actually, well, okay, look at this giant The pile, pile. is large, but it, most of it's garland. <laughs> pile of stuff next to it. Um, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna decorate. I feel like we should decorate today. I'm really hungry I right now. I wanna go make lunch. some food for lunch, and then I wanna decorate. Because I'm really excited. And we'll do the TBR cart, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, today will be our day. We didn't have any plans for today, so this is perfect. So, that's our haul. I'm really excited. All we got is time. So stay wild. Stay wild. All we got is time. So stay wild. Stay wild. TBR cart. Now we have to put the books on the, books. the TBR cart. 
Las... All right, time for a TBR sh- cart tour. This thing is so freaking full. Okay, so up top we have like my biggest books that I really want to get to this year. In the back, all we have is my Kindle and some bookmarks. But yeah, these are new releases and books that I definitely want to get to before not the end of the year. Not spooky season. Not, sp- not spooky season. Then we get into spooky season. So these are all of the physical thriller horrors that I have, and then just a couple of my two fantasies that I have. So these are all. My spooky books. Then on the bottom we have nonfiction literature and then Fifty Shades of Grey <laughs> because I felt like that was appropriate. <laughs> and then this shelf we have some more just like fiction literature and then some translated literature and then just that one book ran up. And then this is my Haley section. These are all of either her books or books that she's recommended me. Yeah. So yeah, this is the... TBR cart. Which means we have three shelves. We have three shelves to organize. Heck yeah. So I'm going to go put this in my room. Figure out where the heck it should go. And yeah. Okay. We put it over here and it actually looks really cute. It does. Woo woo. Wow. Th- just doing this has brought so much color into this room. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You did buy very colorful things. Yeah. So this is cute. I like this a lot. So this is where all my TBR books will now be. Alright, so basically my life is just reorganizing this shelf constantly. <laughs> so we made this shelf over here, Monster X and Infinite. I think it looks the really, really good. Stuff. And yeah, then Ace in the middle. And then all of this is still the same. And then over here is going to be N Flying, and then my just couple of Speed and Black B albums. But this over here is going to be all of the N Flying albums. And then our photo card binders. And then Haley section. Yeah. And then this shelf is now just kind of miscellaneous, and then Haley gets her own TBR shelf. And then, yeah, these are just all of the books that were over there. So, I think it looks good. Hello, change of plans. I'm not going to read Salem's Lot physically next. I'm going to read Parasite by Darcy Coates. This is going to be my next physical read. What are you reading? I'm reading The Dark Beneath the Ice. And I look real cute because I just showered. <laughs> and I made us pumpkin spice lattes, yeah. even though that's literally what we drank this morning from Starbucks. Another pumpkin spice latte. That is pumpkin. what you drank this morning yeah. because you had with the, the tea. Yeah. So now we're going to sit here and we're going to read physically. And look, I got a, I got a chair. Did I even show this? I got this at Target. It's like a, it's like a, it's a kid's chair, it is, it is a <laughs> but it's like chair. a couch chair. It took us three stores it to took find us one. Three stores. Like why? I these are like so popular for college. Why are they a hundred dollars on Amazon? Confusion. But anyways, I got this one for like forty bucks or something. Yeah. Cause it's a kid's one and it's a couch, so I get to like lay like lay across it. Cause I'm small. So yeah, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna read, gonna drink some um, pumpkin spice lattes, and chill out. Good morning, everyone. So it is currently Monday. Monday. Um, last night I read a ton of my books. So let's talk about it. So I read 260 pages of Parasite. Amazing. I'm so proud of myself considering I don't read physically almost at all anymore. And I read 260 pages in a day. So that's pretty good. This is so spooky. This is so fun. So fast paced. I definitely recommend it. Especially, I'm enjoying it, and it's, like, basically short stories. Like, it's a short story collection, kind of. Basically, it's about a sci-fi world where there's, like, tons and tons of different planets that a lot of people, like, work on and everything. And they usually work on, like, groups of, like, you know, three to five or so. And basically, all of these stories kind of happen simultaneously when a new life form appears and is trying to take over. And it's basically each story follows, like, a different crew 
that is being affected by this new life form and it is so spooky it's so fun i've definitely talked about my favorite one of my favorite horror movies is the thing and i definitely recommend that if you like the thing you should check this out i've seen a lot of like the thing kind of ripoffs and i don't usually enjoy them because i'm just like this is boring because you're just copying the thing but this one's really really fun and um I'm enjoying it immensely and I really hope I, I kind of want to finish this today so we'll see about that but me and Haley are gonna go grocery shopping first and then we're gonna come back and listen to some audiobooks and yeah then hopefully read this so and then I think we're also going to be watching a movie tonight yes. so yeah I think this will probably be my last day for this vlog so hopefully I will finish this so I can give you guys a review for it Hello, it is a while later. I just finished this book. Um, I'm actually kind of torn on this one. It was like a solid 4, maybe 4.25 out of 5 stars for like the majority of this book. But as I said earlier, it's like a kind of short story collection. You know what this actually reminded me a lot of? Is Stronger, Faster, and More Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Which is one of my favorite books of what, 2018 I think? Um, which it was technically like a short story collection, but the stories all followed like the same world and the same situation it kind of reminded me of that and unfortunately the last story was the worst one <laughs> the character was really annoying and honestly kind of stupid there was literally there was literally a situation i just started yelling like out loud to Haley about it because i was like how stupid can you possibly be so unfortunately the last story was the worst one and it was kind of obviously like our finale like our grand finale so i think i might give this like a 3.6 seven five I really really liked it it was the last story just I didn't vibe with as well again it was mostly the character I thought she was like really overly aggressive and mean for no real reason and she was stupid <laughs> she was so arrogant and then like literally did the stupidest thing ever so whatever um yeah I think I'd give this a 3.75 though I thought it was very properly spooky um it also towards the end got very like again every book about dystopians and pandemics and epidemics now are very relatable this somehow this alien parasite epidemic somehow is very relatable to the pandemic so 3.75 out of 5 stars to this one. Also, I am currently in the process of buying tickets for me and Haley to go to Jingle Ball to this see Moss X. in the span of 20 minutes <laughs> while we were supposed to be reading. Uh, yeah, I was, I was doing, and I, I was doing this, in, <laughs> I was doing this, in, was it like, took what? me so long to read the last 30 pages of this. Because that was happening. Um, I found a girl who was selling Jingle Ball tickets, and she was selling them really cheap because she wanted more Mon Bebe to be able to go, so I'm buying them. I'm gonna get to see, I, I, I keep saying I have a Valentine's Day date <laughs> with Kihan, and now I'm gonna have a Christmas date We're with Kihan. We're gonna see Monsta X and the Jonas Brothers. And the Jonas Brothers, and Doja Cat! It just feels wrong. Who else it's was a, it? Uh, was Megan the Stallion. Megan the Stallion. Those are the big names. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I finished the book, and now we're gonna go watch a scary movie. What are we watching tonight? Halloween? I think, I think we're watching the Halloween, the Halloween remake. Because the Halloween Kills movie is coming out soon. So. Oh, yeah. Hello, it's a while later. Oh, I'm covered in paint. Um, firstly, I am 52% into They Never Learn. And I'm really, really liking it. The plot twist that just happened. Not like just happened, it would happen a little bit ago. But... The original plot twist that happens in this, fucking insane. I was literally thinking, I was like, how are we going to come together with these two, like, plot lines that are happening? And it was so good. I should have seen it coming, but I really didn't. That's exactly so, what I said to myself. I was like, I should have guessed that. And I, I should have, and I just didn't. And it's, it was a good, it was a good plot twist. Yeah. So I'm really enjoying that. I'm 52% of the way in, so hopefully I'll be able to finish it tomorrow. But also, I'm almost done with my painting. So this is like a piece of fan art that I've already really liked on... Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> is it? Yeah. I feel like I kind of fucked up some of the faces. No, it's but so cute. There's, there's this fan art that I really love from Twitter, like for Stray Kids. And I just, I'm trying to like figure out how to 
art by myself, so I was like, I'm gonna imitate something that art I already really love. So yeah, this is my painting at the moment. The Wolfie is so cute. I feel like I fucked up their faces really bad. Yeah. <laughs> the Wolfie's perfect. Yeah, but his is also the easy. Answer. Yeah, his is really easy. The Jin Rat's pretty cute. Uh, yeah, I, I, th I thought I thought came out really well. Yeah, I also didn't know how to fill the space, so I just wrote their names. I feel like it looks cute, but I don't know. It's it's my first try. Oh, it's so cute. So, I tried my best. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll be able to finish that tomorrow while I finish They Never Learn. Because yeah, oh, it's so good so far. It's really it's good. It's so good. So... Yeah, I'm so curious what happens. I I hate that's the only thing I I hate when I can't like just binge straight through a thriller because I always obviously want to just know what happens next. But I cannot listen to another two and a half hours tonight. It's already ten a uh, ten p.m. So I gotta get up to go to work tomorrow. So well, for we have learned from home, which is just COVID precautions and stuff. So yeah. I'm totally gonna finish it tomorrow though, I'm so excited. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to bed. Good morning everyone, it is currently Tuesday. Um, I had a work from home day, or like, learn from home day for the kids, so it's on Zoom with them this morning. Um, but also, I read two really quick short books today. Um, so I read Yellow Jessamine by Caitlin Starling. I thought this was totally fine. Um, honestly, I wasn't super interested in this story. I just read it because it was Caitlin Starling, and obviously I had really high expectations because it was Caitlin Starling who Luminous said is one of my favorite books of all time. So it was just fine. I think if you're actually interested in what the story is about, it might be better. But um, I also just really quickly read The Perimeter by Will McIntosh. This is Haley's Kindle that I stole from her. Um, and this one, this literally came because I w finished Parasite yesterday. And I said to Haley, I was like, I really would love to read a book from, like, a person's point of view who actually gets, like, taken over by a parasite, like a parasitic alien or something. And she was like, oh my god, John Rice has a book like that. Or Will McIntosh just... has a book like that. You only have two authors that I could <laughs> pick from. <laughs> so, I read this one. I thought it was really good. It was very, very, very short. I would give it, like, a three star just because I'm like, I need more. Yeah. Yeah. If it had been longer, it would have been because there's a really sudden time jump. Yeah, yeah. It was, like, suddenly, like, a year later. But, yeah. yeah, this was a really cool little thing. Um, especially if you like, like, the parasitic alien type of storyline, I guess. But, yeah. So, now I am finishing up They Never Learn. Gonna finish that up soon. Boba is eating. Trigger warning, snake. Trigger warning, snake. Boba's eating. Right now, he hasn't eaten in weeks because he was molting. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna just hang out, finish our audiobooks, and I'm gonna do some work while I finish up my audiobook. So that's what's happening today. I got two. No, I got one. Let me just restart that. <laughs> I got photo cards. I don't remember who this is. I think it's Sana. Oh, these are hands! Are they? Oh, they're Hans. Ooh, I got a bunch. Because the person I did buy from, I bought quite a few. Okay, let's see. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. This, honey. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh, that's cute. What ooh, album ooh. is that? Um, Go. Uh, live. Go live. Oh, and then I got the double-sided. Ooh, ooh. That's also go live. Yeah. That's back door. Is it back door? It's back door. Which one's back door? It's the Levin in, in Le life. Leventar. This one's cute too. And I got I am who? I just love this hairstyle and I'm really sad that there's not a cuter photo card for this hair like for Han. Yes. Oh yeah, here. That's cute. And then Myra. Here, show the vlogs your chans. Ew, woo. There's also freebies in there. Now, Chan loves me, specifically. <laughs> I pulled all the chans, all the Hans, all the Changbins. <laughs> Three Racha just loved me.
Look at this packaging. <laughs> it's so cute. It looks like she like she put it in the switch on top loader too, yeah. which she told me she was gonna do. And I was like, listen, I'm gonna be shipping things in that. That's a Does good she have a Twitter? Thing. She can join our squad. I don't know. She's new to the fandom. Like, we'll tell her to new. join Twitter and she can be in our group. <laughs> What's her name? Jolie. Tell her to join us. Here's all my honeys. I'm gonna put them in my binder and I'll show you how many I have now. I've been looking for this Cute. photo card for two years since I, I know that one, happened. Yeah. And nobody had it. It's so cute. Right, I'm gonna go put these in my binder. It's the best stickers. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a little flip through of my Han collection now. Ew! So cute. That's all of them. And then I just have like random member stuff. Also, I finally I finished my painting. <laughs> Oh, that's horrible lighting. Let me fix that. There's my painting. If you guys recognize this fan art, this is like my favorite fan art ever. Obviously, I'm not taking credit for this like actual art. I just like re I imitated it because that's all I'm good at is imitating and drawing in the lines. So, yeah, this is my Skizoo fan art copying as a painting. I think it turned out pretty cute. I think some of their faces are like a little wonky, but like it's pretty cute, especially for my first time like trying to do something freehand yeah so yeah my painting's all done now i have to figure out where the heck to hang it yeah, all right we're getting so we're getting we got panda express this is my first time ever trying panda express and he yes, got and oh thanks oh did we grab utensils? i got chopsticks i thought i grabbed a fork I grab oh, one no yeah this is my first time trying panda i've been wanting to try it since keith from the try guys did like a try the whole menu Can't of it. I've never had panda. I've never had panda, so gonna try it. Have you had panda? No. Yeah? No? I haven't had firehouse dogs either. Oh, how is it? Yummy. It looks good. Yeah. I got the mushroom chicken. The chow mein. Chicken is good. Mm. It's good shitty Chinese food. That is, that's my review. <laughs> I feel like all of my vlogs are just me sitting in this room. Just like this. <laughs> this is the only room with any lighting. <laughs> that's true. That is why I vlog in here so much. This is our only room with light. But anyways, I just finished They Never Learn by Lane Fargo. Yeah. Am I right? Um, ah, uh, it was so good. I give it, like, a 4.25 out of 5 stars, because I will say, I felt it got a little bit, like, not, like, boring, but, like, it, after the twist happened, the twist happens, like, 50% of the mm -hmm. way in, and then after that, like, the gimmick is up. You yeah. know what I mean? So I was just like, okay, no, I really like it, and I really like the explanation and stuff after the twist, but before the twist was a lot better but i still give it 4.25 out of 5 stars i thought it was fantastic the message behind it is obviously amazing because i don't even know if i said this is a thriller that follows a woman who murders men who like sexually assault women and ah oh, so good so yeah i really did like that one it's very dark academia if yeah i would also say i haven't seen anyone talk about that it's like dark academia thriller yeah. which i thought improved it so much i love i always love my like academic kind of characters it's always a good time um so yeah the next books we're gonna read we're going to buddy read buddy listen to um the Death of Jane Lawrence by Caitlin Starling. I loved The Luminous that I just read um, Yellow Jessamine earlier today. Uh, and this is her newest release. It just was released like last week. So we are going to buddy listen to this. And then I think for my physical read, I'm going to go for The Asawa Murders by Riku Onda. And this is one that I'm going to bring with me to work tomorrow. So it's in my work bag. But yeah. I am on a freaking roll right now with reading. I feel like in this vlog, I finished like five books. <laughs> so, just gonna keep it going. Maybe I'll actually be able to get through all of my TBR. That'd be crazy. If we get through these buddy listens pretty quickly, then I probably will be on track. Yeah. 
Woo! That's exciting. So, luckily we're also both in a reading mood because it's spooky reading. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, that's it for now. Goodbye. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I am back at school. I actually, it's like my lunch break right now. Oh, I can take this off. Um, yeah, so today I am going to be starting The Osawa Murders by Riku Onda. I'm going to start this after I eat my lunch. Um, also my OOTD, just a black dress today, but the point is my skull earrings and my little Halloween ponytail, like, what's this called? A scarf, I guess. So yeah, that's the fun point of my outfit today. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm really excited to start this. Also, me and Haley were talking last night, trying to just figure out audiobooks and like what we're going to read and stuff because we have a couple that we want to listen to together. God, we have so many audiobooks to read and like I don't have that many books physically to read anymore. So uh, I'm, I have to start figuring stuff out. Like I, I'm either going to get through so many books or the audiobooks are going to just take over our lives because we have some long ones too. So yeah. Hopefully we will get to all of them, but for now we're gonna be. I'm gonna be starting this book today. Good morning, everyone. So it is actually currently Friday. Um, I did vlog like one clip yesterday, but I just scrapped it because I literally was just like, I'm gonna read this book, and then I didn't even like talk about the book after I read it. But I did end up finishing The Osawa Murders by R Riku Onda. Uh, this is a piece of Japanese literature. It's a Japanese thriller. I give it four stars. I like Japanese thrillers so much more than Western ones. I think that they're just so much more interesting and complex. They're so much more focused on the mystery and the characters and the atmosphere than Western thrillers, which are all about just the violence and the murder and the gore. Um, so I, I really liked this one. I really loved the writing. I had some dog ears and everything. I don't have it with me because I left it at home because I finished it. But um, yeah, and then yesterday we ended up watching some Midnight Mass, uh, which is a show on Netflix. It's like another big Halloween show. And we also were trying to catch up in a K-drama where me and Haley are watching Lovers of the Red Sky, which stars on Hillsup. Um, but yeah, I think I'm actually going to end this vlog here. I'm just, I kind of fell out of my vloggy mood. It's very hard. I, I feel like I talk about this way more than other YouTubers. So I'm just being real here. It is so hard to stay motivated on YouTube when your views drop. Like it just really is. Like it's, YouTube is such a catch-22 that you take some time off for mental health because even if people say that views don't matter, they do. Especially if you have always gotten a certain amount of views and then you stop getting that amount of views, it's going to affect your mental health, like no matter who you are. So you take some time off for mental health and then you try to come back and the YouTube algorithm hates you even more. I feel like I'm also just super sensitive to this because for how many subscribers I have, I don't get the views that I should be getting. Like people with less subscribers than me get thousands of more views per video. So it's always been kind of something that I've struggled with on YouTube because I don't know, I struggle so bad with the anxiety of like, oh, no one likes me. Oh, my friends don't like me, stuff like that. So the fact that I have 17,000 subscribers and I get less than a thousand views it fucks with you, it fucks with your mental health, and that is why I was taking a break. So I think I'm actually going to stop vlogging, I don't know, maybe for the rest of the month, I don't know, Bell. I really wanted to partake in the Halloween Smutathon, which is the last week of October, so I might vlog that, but I don't know, I'm just, I'm really not feeling it anymore, it just sucks, like, that's just straight up. I'm like, like, I'm sorry. I know I complain about this all the time. And you guys are going to be like, Kate, you're great. Like, please keep posting content. It's really hard to post content when you just, you feel like this. It's like, why, why bother? Why do I put hours and hours and hours of my life into this thing that no one cares about? So, like, I do it for myself mostly, but I'm not in a vlogging mood anymore. So I don't feel like vlogging. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm sorry that I might take a little break from vlogging. I don't know, maybe I'll just do some clips throughout the month and just do a big vlog at the end. 
who knows but um yeah i hope you guys all enjoyed this vlog i read so many books this vlog so <laughs> for anyone who's sick of me just talking about k-pop and photo cards and you know at my actual life um in vlogs uh here you go here's an actual reading vlog but yeah anyways i love you all and i'll see y'all soon bye